Okay. Sorry, I always think of that. There's a there's an acapella version of levels that kind of starts like that. But I always expect it to. Every time I hear this this main menu music, I always expect that. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and post. Um, about going live. I got water. I brought water this time, so when the Schick Hydro bot uh, yells at me to be drinking water. I'll have been drinking. And it'll all be so good. On it. it takes a moment to load, unfortunately. But aside from that, I, I did a little bit off camera. Um, just basically minor minor exploration stuff. Um, mostly just getting resources and building up the base and kind of planning out the base a little bit better. Um, so I got rid of some unnecessary stuff. But I gotta put in more stuff, and I gotta get foundations in, because I'm not... It's not stable enough right now. It's real ba It's real unstable at the moment. So, trying to, trying to work on that. Um, but basically, I got an uh, even better oxygen tank. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. And it's not any time I load in because I guess it forgets to load in the solar panel or something. So it says it is not producing oxygen while it's loading. And then once I load it, it'll be like, oh, you're fine. Power restored. All primary systems online. Also, there's like a countdown timer in the upper right hand corner where they are apparently a rescue ship is coming in like 35 minutes, so I guess that's going to happen on stream, but don't really know much more than that. Um, I got like everything in here now, um, which is, is good, I suppose. I'm trying to, I don't even remember what I was doing. Uh, I don't really need the repair tool like on me at all times. Um, a lot of pipes. I'm trying to, I need to, ooh, I need to go on the ship, but I'm, I'm doing something first. I'm doing something first. And that is trying to... Oh, that's the landing site. Huh? That's where I gotta go, apparently. Look, I ain't worried about none of that. Is it not even gonna, like, let me see the other things, or is it just, like... What was it? Oh, it, it's down here. It's down here. We good. We good, fam. Um, we are in fact going deeper. Um, I went very deep. Um, wait, actually, hold on. Do I have the thing on me? I don't even have the confounded thing on me. We gotta do some more fabricating. I didn't think through this. Oh yeah, I had to partially undo this because it made it too unstable and everything started breaking and flooding. So I need like sta stabilization thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. Mm, well, thank you. What was I needing? I was needing another thing. Oh, I just, I just titanium. That's nothing. I got some of that right in, right in here. Cool beans. Uh, I got plenty of pipes, I just need another air pump. I figured out how that all works. That's just like for like getting oxygen to me down low. So I got, I got like a better idea of like what's going on now, which is pretty tight. Just saying. Um, okay, let's go. Now we're set. 
way over here. Um, I don't know if it's underwater in a cave. I was in a deep underwater cave uh, when I found the coordinates. Because I found a data pad in a weird, un like, un in ca underwater cave platform man-made. That was odd. Um, so I don't know if I was supposed to follow that cave or, or what, but um, I'm hoping. a good sign. <laughs> Maybe I was supposed to. Uh... Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, there's a lot of them. And I forgot how to attack. Creep vines are not safe, guys. Creep vines are not safe areas. There's some aggressive, uh, grumpy boys in there. had to refill my oxygen there for a second um i guess i'm still not over where i need to be so it's probably gonna just like like drop drop off um i gotta rebreather so i can go to greater depth but can i not go over here because of radiation is that what he's telling me how how, how bad are we looking happening it well it is like further down in here I don't oh, know oh. I'm gonna have to do the pipe thing but I gotta do I gotta do the pipe thing it's too deep I'm gonna die like this and I have to deal with the radiation because I'm not uh, I have to go so deep, I have to have the, 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 that tank on. Ooh, it is, it is hurting me. It is. The radiation just like steadily kills you, good to know. Um, just seal up there. Like I have a radiation mask too, but I just, I, it, I could have brought, I should have brought it with me, but that's just a lot to have on on my person. Sure. Cool. So what we're doing right now is we are trying to get like a root of pipes down to uh where I'm going so that this is automatically pumping oxygen down here for me. So basically means I can go to greater depths safely. Um, And you know, that's kind of important when you're doing deep sea diving. I gotta hurry though, this is this water is extremely irradiated here. Now's not the time. Larry, Larry, I don't, I don't need you growling at me right now. You're stressing, you're stressing me out. Can I get out of the radiation, please? Okay. Yeesh. Let me, let me just, let me just breathe for a second and heal. 
See, I just like go up to it and it's like, here, here's some oxygen. It's like, it's super important and needed. Oh, let me just swim down here now. Oh, gosh dang. See, I was like in like another part of this cave earlier and I found a thing. So. Did I find actual living people? No. This is not good. How do I get in? Ooh, that is terrifying. Gonna, gonna just refill my air. I have more pipes, but just, I guess I should, I guess I should take more pipes down. Because I have them with me, I can, they're pretty cheap to make. Just titanium and there's like a ton of scrap. I remember, I remember the good old days when I couldn't even uh, I didn't know how to make anything with titanium. That was cute. I could I couldn't find I couldn't find titanium. Well, that was the last of my pipes. At least they're not taking up my inventory. Am I right? Am I right? This is good. Oh. Well, I'm getting so many stuff from here. So many stuff. How do I, how do I get in here? Oh, this is the multi-purpose room. Oh my gosh. I've been, I've been wondering how I got the multi-purpose room. I found it. I done did find it, guys. That's hype. I'm just gonna re-up my... Water. Or not water. Oxygen. <clears throat> it's important. God, it does it does take a while, but I mean there's you know. Oh yeah. Um I'm I'm you have me interested now. Would you stop growling at me? That's just rude. It's just dang rude. Just leave me alone. I feel like I should be able to get in here somehow. And because there's like a data pad in here somewhere. Oh god. I I don't know that I am. You're dev, seriously. And you went to find the person with the least amount of viewers playing the game? Not gonna lie, kinda skeptical. It'd be cool if it's the case, but kind of skeptical. Okay, you say front, <laughs> but how do I recognize what the front is? Is 
Because all these look like hatches, but they're all... Meanwhile, this guy is just being rude. circling around this and eventually I'm going to see the front yard. Oh my god, there we go. I found it. I found it! I found the front! I knew I'd feel really dumb when I found it. I was right. Integrating new PDA data. Quickly, quickly searching. Oh, I'm really... Oh, here we go. Integrating new PDA data. I should probably go get more oxygen and then... Oh, good job, Nate. I don't, I don't have time for this. I'm going to drown. Integrating new PDA data. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Ultra high capacity tank. Sweet. I wish I had that now. Ooh, I am. I am going to die. Oxygen. Yeah, I know. I don't even know where the surface is in relation. Have I killed myself? I, I see a pipe. It's too dark. It's over. No. Damn it. Too adventurous. Too adventurous. Damn it. <sighs> okay, did I keep my scans? I didn't, I lost a lot of inventory. Do I keep the scans? Probably. Okay, yeah, kept that. Let's think worth it. Bottom hatch. <sighs> I'm so bad at this. I'm so sorry. If you really are, Dev, again, sorry for being skeptical. If you really are, Dev, I apologize. I'm so bad at games, but uh, I also am thoroughly enjoying this game. I saw, I was watching Jack Septicai play it forever ago when it was like way in early access and I got pulled away from it for some reason and said, man, I really want to play that someday. And then I had spare money uh, yesterday. And I was like, cool, I'll check this out. So. Oh, well, that's good. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. There it is. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says, understanding is power. But the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. There's so much lore to this. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. I think, I, like, I, I find it super interesting. Oh, I lost track of where I was going. Oh, over here. I can't see where I am. Oh, I see pipe. Pipe. Okay, I can do this. I'm, like, trying not to... You did not. Okay, now you've got to be pulling my leg. Is 
That's too much of a coincidence. I tried to conserve battery. <laughs> stuff is it floating or did it like sink down to the bottom how does that because i was somewhere around here probably down here I missed. I don't think so. I think I actually did get everything. Oh, Jesus Christ! That is absolutely horrifying. I'm gonna die again. Straight up. Oof. Oof, that was... That was one of the most horrifying experiences of my life. Did not like. So where the heck is this pipe? Where's my oxygen? Let's start the next audio log thing. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enamel glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Oh, Only, yeah. well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. Oh, hey. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. Well, she's demented. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. Ah. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. The design is very good. Integrating new PDA data. At least I'll wait until after that was done. To... I'm, I'm definitely missing stuff because there's five and six. Environmental log. Are you kidding me? What am I missing? I'm gonna like peek around from the outside. I got the stuff there. There more. Oh, yeah, I was like, I was gonna say, is there more out here? Ooh. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, he's gonna attack me again. Oh, I don't like it. Uh, no, but our style is very good. I really like it. Um, I, I love the water. Um, 
sorry to say it's not quite as good as the Sea of Thieves water, but it is a close second. Um, while neither game went for like the realistic approach, it has like a weird, I don't know, it's very, very beautiful. I love all the bioluminescence and everything in this game. It's interesting. I should have got more pipes. I brought more pipes with me. My flashlight was off. Of course it was. I'm gonna have it off though, just because I can kind of see in here. God, perfect. It's a battery. This is about to go out. I didn't bring extra batteries. So scared to wander. I didn't bring it the, the thing to find my way back either. See, I'm just I'm a big old scaredy cat. I, I obviously you can probably tell I turned off the the hunger and thirst. I find that very tedious in survival games. I haven't tried it in this one, um, but I saw the option to just do the free freedom mode or whatever, and I was like, yeah, that is perfect, because it's like all the features I like about the... Oh, here's so I was like, I lost the pipe again. All the features I like about survival games, but without the tedium. No, I don't want to cheat. <laughs> Because I'm, even though I'm, like, bad at this, I still want to play fair. I know I'm, like, not doing the best job of representing the game. Luckily, there's a lot of, like, good streamers and YouTubers out there that do. This is just more of, like, a me chilling and taking my time doing stuff. Even though I'm not... Everything super well. Oh, and I found radiation again. Oh, and there comes this boy again. Oh, God, I just, I was, I was, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Oh. I'm all disoriented. This way, okay. I'm gonna go. Oh. Okay, oh, are you like watching multiple channels? I misunderstood what you were saying. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm going to. But thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, I think I'm going to go to the ship for the first time, because I have the radiation helmet, and I never did do that. Hopefully I can survive the radiation long enough to get out of it. Also, the sunbeam is coming, but I'm hoping that that can, like, wait. I would assume that I can just, like, wait to go to it. Because there's so much to this game, if they put it on a time limit, that would be so bad. Okay. Okay, get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, I'm go- I'm probably gonna die again. I didn't bring a health pack, and there's radiation that I'm dealing with. Oh my god! I have very little health, but I did make it out of the radiation. Oh no! No! <laughs> Ow! That's funny. Let's swap out. No. But there's so much more I want to do. I googled it and people said that there wasn't a, a hard timer on the game. Hello, Clarissa. How are you? Okay. 
gonna go. I'm gonna go to the ship. I'm gonna go. No, oh, hold on. Grab that. Now I'm gonna go to the ship. Yeah. Ah. Got seven minutes. I guess we're gonna find out. The game's just like, well, bad ending. You didn't get rescued. Game over. I'm gonna be real annoyed. This, this one could take a while. Oh, I can listen to other log files. Even though I didn't get all of them. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need no! her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. I don't know if I'll People make it there in time now. It's so far away. Swim the surface and pretend like there isn't a bunch of horrible stuff underneath me. I got six minutes. Uh, I may, I, I may make it. Ugh. Nope, no cheating. Leviathan buddies. Oh, they're cute. I think they're pretty great. Yeah, I should make it. It'll be close, but I should make it. What is... Weird cloud thing here. land in this game. Not nearly as tropical as I expected. And I guess it's alright. I guess I'm just seeing like the cliff side. Oh, I got... Well, I, I can't go see the radio thing. All right, where are you with me? I ain't going back now. I won't make it in time. Of energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. <sighs> this is lost. Guys, it's lost. We're gonna have to push the button in the hatch. And keep the island hidden from other people. Is that what happened? No, it relocates the island, that's right. If you don't if you don't push the button, it relocates the island or something. I don't know. It's been forever. Yo, those look hostile. Let's scan them. This is giving me Halo vibes. Yo, I did not know there was literally huh? any land in this huh? game. Huh? They kept talking about a landing site, and I'm like, that's odd, I didn't think there were landing sites.
definitely a thing I probably can't go through. Oh. I do have a tablet. But probably not the tablet I need. Really, is that what that is? I mean, I picked up a tablet, but I thought it was like data. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I think that's the tablet. Good? Huh? Probably not. Can I go up? Oh, oh. That definitely looks like a tap. Whoa, my frame rate, come on. Softest landing. All right. Tablet. I'm going to get so trapped. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Attempting translation. Should I be in here or should I be outside? I feel like I should be outside for the landing. It says it's gonna land over here. You'd think you'd see it if it's 30 seconds away. You'd think you'd see it like. and we're descending towards You're gonna the get site. shot down, bro. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Bro, you're gonna die. Hold on. No turning back now. Rip. Positions, everyone. Rip. Rip. down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Rip. Change course. Set thrusters to full. That's a shame. Um, I don't have enough med packs for that. <laughs> I I like how the fire is like still like raining down. That's pretty cool. Oh. Self-scan complete. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Vigilant? Be vigilant. No. Flashlight, it works on land too. I'm gonna go back in now. It's probably safe now. What 
is this reminding me of? Definitely something sci-fi. I just can't put my finger on it. What is this? Sure, just pick up an ion cube. That's not a big deal. That's just in my inventory now. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. I would assume aesthetic to some extent. Unknown language. Attempting translation. I'm gonna get so lost. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Because I, uh, elevators. Not necessary. Waste of space. Just float, float. So we're below sea level now. Oh, and look, we get to go diving. What is here? Before I go diving and go crazy, I feel like I should. I feel like uh, this was supposed, like, supposed to, like, it made me feel like there was, it was gonna go be over really quick, and then it suddenly is like, oh no, you've got a long way to go. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. If only I had a tablet. Oh, that makes sense. I keep forgetting I have a scanner. Gosh dang, Nate. Oh, it's literally a doomsday device. Nice. Um. Doomsday device. Hands indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunction. How is that fortunately? How, how is that like? It's malfunctioned, so, you know, could blow up. Any day. Like, we don't know. It's malfunctioned. Like, never, never when I'm like, okay, this is a, 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 a source of massive amounts of potential energy never do i go good it broke because it still has that potential energy in there and if it's broken that means it's unstable <laughs> like nobody's like oh good nuclear facility going down <laughs> like i don't know i'm being unnecessarily nitpicky but I'm entertaining myself, so. Is this a thing? Oh. Oh. That's what shot the thing. <laughs> yeah, like. God, it, it, it's silly. It, it's silly to me. Uh, features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in the. In, does it does it resemble a U? I can't tell with my eyes. Algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology, I mean, it doesn't take that long for algae to grow. The 
That is really funny. I, that would be me, though. And I'd just be like, that's the fu- This stupid this game's stupid! And I would probably, like, immediately look up, like, is this how it ends? And then I'd see that as a bad ending, and I was like, ah. You're equivalent to a... Okay. Please tell me it's, a uh, malfunction as well. <laughs> Power is rooted via the attached terminal on the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it'll target any ship within range. This is a good idea. This is a real good idea. It's a bad idea. Okay. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Alright. Cool. That's why it's shooting down all the nearby Translating ships. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. That's not what I want. Where am I? What? What was I looking at? All the tape in space. What? I'm confused. So do I just go out now? Oh my god. Like, why is my frame rate so bad down here? That's odd. Is it the lighting that does it? You'd think the underwater would be, like, worse with all the things. Maybe I need to self-scan again. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Oh, another thing. things. I am so lost. Can I touch it? Can I take? Can I? Nope. Oh, I'm back in here. Okay, cool. There is there anything under here that I do? 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I have the other one. Just, just level out. I'm sure there's like a better way to do that. I just don't know what the heck I'm doing, but... No! I dropped it! Come back! Ah! I'm horrible at this. <sighs> oh. Swap. What's the swap? Okay, there we go. Now. Now I can go under 100 meters and be okay. This is horrifying. Don't think that's friendly. Is this a Stargate? Is it a Stargate? Is this... Is this a robot? It's a 
robot with a Stargate on the back. Scanning. Stargate. I need... I need... Scan this too while I'm out here. Like... Ew. Ew! It's a gel sack. I do like that this is very story driven as opposed to a lot of survival games that aren't. Like there's like survival elements to this that are like I could just kind of step aside from the story and do survival stuff for a while if I wanted to, which I did off screen. But the fact that I'm able to stream and go like, let's do something more engaging for a bit. That's pretty cool. Okay, I feel like there's all this stuff. Strong resemblance to human weaponry and form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility as a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Well, thank you for hanging out, Evil Jester Bot. And if you are a dev of this game truly, then you you did a good job. Again, sorry that I don't. Sorry that I'm skeptical. I've been burned before. Um, but you have a wonderful day. Thank you for the follow. Uh, this structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial, or religious role. Industrial applications, advanced transportation network. It's it's a Stargate! I'm telling y'all, it's a Stargate! <laughs> advanced transportation, it's a... Oh, these are just other things I have. That I need to put on my thing. I can make a stasis rifle now. That's, uh, well, maybe. I don't know if I have the blueprint. Do I have the blueprint for a stasis rifle now? I have a blueprint for a purple tablet. Oh, no, I don't have the, I don't have enough for the stasis rifle yet. <sighs> okay, I gotta, I gotta further figure this out. that thing that gave me like the the hyper super high rebreather thing which would be very helpful and oh my god it's just a data pad no it's time capsule odd Near blueprint acquired what I'm like really like not liking the open ocean there. That makes me super terrified. Is there a way for me to mark? My location and all of this? I don't, I don't know. That is like, that cannot be a friendly thing. That looks horrifying. I have to get some oxygen, then I'm gonna go up the outside. And say hello to that horrifying creature. Really? How am I just doing the whole dolphin thing? Sometimes I just wanna float at the surface, okay? Is it hold on? around here. 
It's not flicker, but that may have been like a, a loading in glitch. crazy to me that so much of this is you, you're able to explore like I'm so used to games like restricting the underwater so like it gives me like a halo vibe or something when I'm up here but I'm like used to not being able to go into the water but there's there is a whole other world down under the water and that is crazy charge doing on this oh there's my ship wow this wasn't as far away as I thought it was unless that's not the Aurora but I think that I think that is the Aurora I think it sh I think it completely obliterated the ship coming in unfortunately I couldn't really see because it was nighttime that was horrible timing but I guess that's it would be that way no matter what. Huh? 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 Oh, let me up. Huh? Huh? Not nearly as mobile outside of the water. Huh? Huh? That, okay, well. This just sounds hollow now. Also, I run very well for f having flippers on. camping out here for the night. I guess it's really freaking dark at night, which is good. You know, that makes sense. I'm going to explore more of the aisle, being as we've got time. I ain't going back in that water. Not at night, please. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out that thing. Hold on. Got that new blueprint for a thing? I really want that. But I need lithium! I don't know how to do lithium. Oh, beacon. Oh, I didn't. That's how you get the beacons. I need that. Make this so much easier. Oh, oh God. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the donation. You just, uh, scared the poop out of me, but thank you for it, nonetheless. For the biddies. Hey, that is how to... That is how to get me jumping. Oh. Air gel something something. So many things I have not been looking at. Oh, time capsule. There we go. What? But welcome to the prawn system before you is the most powerful unit known to man don't let the power go to your head above all remember keep calm and punch them in the face good luck sergeant brown so i guess all the debris is probably out in the ocean now which i should totally take care of um also deeply terrified of open water so that's going to be a issue there. More 
facilitize. Ah! That is too dark to deal with you all. To deal with y'all. Y'all not. You're creeping me out. You give me the heebie-jeebies. Ah, the bulbo tree. Classic. Classic bulbo tree. I love these little like mana bird, man manta bird thingies. I see a thing. Can I put it on? Is that a... Okay. Oh. Do I thing I do? Oh. Ow! God dang it! Come into the light where I can fight you. Really, like, none of y'all, like, of all the things that should be, like, not resistant to a knife, that little fucker there. Oh! Damn it. Again. Again with that. Finally dead. Okay, ready. ready. No idea what these are for, but I'll find out because this can. Gosh, I'm all on edge. This is creepy. I'm in like an unknown zone. This is not at all what I expected from this game. And I'm like getting more and more terrified of the open water. That was weird. I don't know if the audio was supposed to do that. There. Really? It's just this thing here? Like there's more that I'm not seeing. There's a lot to this cave. Oh. Stargate, guys. What did I tell you? I'm gonna die. Let's do this. Did I come out the way I went in?
can't be the way I came in. Tropical island. I warped from one island to another. This must be what he was talking about. How the fuck? What the fuck is this game? Yeah. Why can't I scan these trees? Let's be real. I'd, sc I'd be able to scan this tree. Jaffa cup? Oh! Are they filled with orange stuff? Voxel shrub. Oh, water looks. This is. Oh, I should just live here. Grub basket? Oh, look at all these, like, lovely things. Gonna turn out to be like a life of pie situation where like the island is beautiful but it's super not safe. Huh? A Ming plant. Emperor Ming. Alright, an interior grow bed. Like a garden thing. Someone's like straight up. There's gotta be somebody else. So there's gotta be somebody on this island. There's a thing up there, a structure, a human made structure. I seen it. Somebody was farming out here. Oh, this one. Look at that. That looks delightful. A lot more reassuring than on the other island. The other island is ominous as fuck. Hmm. And see, because I don't have to worry about hunger or thirst, I can take this at my own pace and do all this exploring without having to worry about get back, getting back to my base and getting food and stuff. Oh, I would have hated that. I hope I can make this. Huh? I can. This is so weird. I'm hearing shit too, which is making me super. Oh. Oh, I. Just almost stepped off the edge. That would have been a real good night. Hearing stuff. Oh, di what? I thought it was over here. Was there multiple ones? There is multiple ones. been here has time passed what's what's going on integrate 
generating new PDA data. This is the Degasi though, but didn't I? What? This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators, fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Okay. <clears throat> also probably a good idea. More structurally sound. Near blueprint acquired. But I do need to go back to the other island so I can get up there. The other side of the island, I should say. Same island. Structure down he oh there's so much on this island. <gasps> oh thought it was over then lad. Is that a thing down there? <gasps> Cave crawlers. All these radio transmissions I can't get because I'm nowhere near my base. And I can't make a beacon yet, which is greatly frustrating. What was I doing? I was wanting to scan something, I think. Oh yeah, I was scanning this. Yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of stormwater? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you 
you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only oh, choice back. we got is whether to get buried with it. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, good. Integrating new PDA data. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? <coughs> a dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. Oh. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. So I found the other island. Um, accidentally, I went through a stargate. Because, of course, there's a stargate. Um, it didn't do the whole whooshy thing, but, you know, it's a, it's a stargate. There is no way I went to the same one again, is there? Surely not. I can't even see. It's too dark. I can't even see where I am. I think I literally, like, came in circles. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Is that an option in game? What are we talking about? Win settings, I don't know. What do you want from me? Oh. Well, I like to complain. Oh, I do want to turn down motion blur, though. Whoa, where did that go? I'm not a motion blur person. I literally did. I literally came back the same direction. Went huh? the same mountain. That's hilarious. 
Look, I have skills uh, at going in circles. Now, I'm going up the correct way. Oh, Lord. I mean, I can see what the old man was saying. Like, this place is, like, a tropical paradise. Huh? It's lovely. Oh, it's all the trees. I'm like, what is the blue lights? The bioluminescent trees that look like, um, celery stalks. They're blue, glowy. Aha! This one definitely looks different. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. It's a huge priority for, for me, I must say. What? What? Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut-price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Oh, another data pad. Good. New blueprint acquired. So much stuff. Integrating new PDA data. These conniving corporate <clears throat> bourgeois, inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks don't have a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. That's it. Oh no, yeah, we already did that. Okay, what is it? We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. 
After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Yo, that is creepy. That's probably the one I just found. Right there. I know you said it was your favorite earlier, so I was cool. That that was that that is like one of the most horrifying things to hear. It's just like they don't want us down there. I'm like, what? What? Who's they? That's horrifying. This is scary as fuck. Oh. Okay. I don't know what the fucking like. I can't. I can't make a beacon yet, so I guess I just gotta swim. I don't. I'm so scared to go back in the water. That's crazy. The game's got me so like freaked. I. I have already. I already have anxiety about open. What is it? I haven't been that. Is that a place? Of, I think I've been there. I've been there. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there, and I came back up to that area. So, um. I need to make beacons, but I don't have the other thing to make to like of the blueprint. So, yeah. I'll just have to remember this general direction. Um, but no, like IRL, I had um, or I have real fears of like oceans and stuff. I've seen too many horror movies. Mm. See, now that looks inviting. F it. Huh? How odd. Oh! See, I've seen like the little floaters, so these are like really freaking old. Okay. This literally does remind me of the thing from Life of Pi, though, so gonna get out of it. An uncomfortable thought. Of course, there's a freaking PDA in the lagoon. Yeah, yeah, um. I had read, like, when I read up on the, like, the, the tiny floaters, um, that seemed to be their thing. So does this island move, then? If it's not actually an island, it's just a, literally, like, a floating rock? Woof. Yeah, when I read about the first uh, floaters, they were like, hey, these would be really useful for a thing and for, like for keeping things af afloat. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And that literally, yep, they're literally keeping this thing afloat. Ah! I just don't like being under here. What is this? Is this coral shell plate? Oh, I don't. Mm. My stomach just turned. That freaks me out. Open water. I've seen too many movies and open water just scares me. It's like... Even like going to the beach, I don't like stepping in the water anymore at the beach in like the shallows because I'm like, oh, there's nothing in the shallows, but the shallows are connected to far bigger areas. There's the PDA. Awesome. It's all connected and there's stuff in the rest of it. Integrating new PDA data. <sighs> 
We have to board the Aurora, repair the long-range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Key, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Huh? Be safe. Keen. Out. This is... incredible. Like, this game really did, like... go next level as far as like it's it's open world and there's so much story to this and it's huge not just on land but the water there's so much you're you're saying stuff that i don't even like that makes me want to go in the water less oh. god damn it So that's actually relatively close to my ship. Oh no, that's not the thing that it was telling me about of where they were going. That's where I like was earlier. That's right. Oh no. Is there multiple proposed Degasi habitats? No, they're literally like the same thing. What? What? Oh, I've already lost the island too. I mean, I guess I see like a little bubble there. Oh! That's fair. I figured there had to be, like, some sort of, like, edge of the world, but it is very, very open. Um, I just gotta remember, keep an eye out for the... Oh, so that's, I think that's an island, like, over there, and that's an island there. It just kind of looks a little bit distorted, but now that I know to look for that, I should be fine. Speaking of leviathans... Uh, also, I would never swim around this stuff in real life. There's so much I'm doing in this game I would never do in anything. Nope, not for, not remotely. Um, but oh, look at these! Oh, I love these boys. Oh, you all right? You doing a little flippy? Interesting. Is this a thing? It's probably for like the moth thingy. Dang it, the yeah, see moth. Well, I guess I could use the titanium. I guess. Oh, these boys are so cute. They're just basically giant whales. This is like getting back to familiar territory for me now. I've, like, been out here before. That's funny. I was so close to the island and didn't even know. I don't have the resources. What? They have eggs. What? What are you talking about? Leviathan have it, the, the reef Leviathan have eggs.
These guys are pretty cute too, even though they're like... I guess they're not really hostile, they're just defensive. Ah, That's cool, I don't have like the alien containment thing yet. I mean, there's so, there's, I have so little. I have so little. I didn't even like, I completed that and then it was like unstable and I had to like halfway like undo that. So like that's how. Welcome aboard, Captain. Good to be back. <laughs> Ultra glide fins, silicone rubber, titanium, lithium. I don't know where to get lithium. I know how to get silicone rubber. Oh, I still need to go on the ship, too. What is that? Oh, that's the radio. Uh huh. A lot of mess left. Partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated mode. Hunting, analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. So it's a Predator movie. I don't know, I've never seen those movies. I've seen the Alien movies. I've been saving the Predator movies for a rainy day. This is so... There's so much of this game that I'm like, I want to know more. Please tell me more. Uh, 37. I feel like I've gotten like a lot done, uh, like story wise, but not a lot done. Uh, otherwise, but I guess that's fine. Okay, let me put on the radiation helmet. Let me drop off a lot of this stuff. What was I supposed to eat? Well, I don't know where to plant anything. Do I, don't I have to have like a thing to plant stuff? I don't. Nope. Then I got all this stuff for the thing. I don't even have that. That's like, I like, I like far, like, further than I've gotten so far. I'm sure that, like, it's a very big scale game. You know, big scale. Can I make more? Oh. I do have exterior grow beds now for titanium. That's good. A bulkhead? That's good. Oh, does that go like in tunnels? So like, I have like the hatch. Does the grow bed need to be above water? Probably. I have indoor grow beds. I got so much like stuff. <laughs> Purpose room is just six. That's good. Um, I've been wanting to get that for a while, just so I had a like more than a tunnel to do stuff with. So it's actually really nice. Um, probably won't be stable enough. I still don't know where to get lithium. 
do I, do I have a thing that showed me lithium? I don't know. Geological data. Titanium. Lead, silver, and gore. Oh, and that's just... I don't yet know. Yeah, the spotlight seems like a really nice feature. Especially because I am like... I mean, I have an observatory now, but that's kind of what I was making this. Oh, that is ominous as heck when you just... Can't even see outside because it's so dark. I, li I like the base build. I think I want to go to the ship before I, like, call the stream. But I'm also, like, terrified. I like all the sound design. Like, this, there's, like, a lot of great things about this game. I don't like those fuckers. They're just rude. I like that all the animals, like, interact with each other like they would. Like, it seems like such a dumb thing, but, like, I guess a lot of games just like, seem like they do. It actually seems like predators go after prey and shit like that. And each other, they just get in fights with each other. I am like anxious. Like I'm like I'm ready to get off the game, like because of stress levels. But like, how much longer? I'm probably gonna just like explore the ship quickly. Um, I may not even explore all of it before I get off. So probably not too much longer. I do remember seeing somebody playing and they went by the ship and there was something huge and it oh, oh. oh sun's rising that makes it feel a little bit better let me just <laughs> I'm like so anxious I don't like this oh oh I love this game, but I like at the same time I am so there's so much anxiety happening. Can I go up into the ship from here? No. Yes, no. Should uh, partake in that. Very surely.
Oh, I see a thing. Nice. Well, that's the thing I have now. New blueprint acquired. All right. That is nothing, I guess. Oh, it's just supposed to be like ship lights. Transmission. Probably like, don't go on the ship. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Oh, come on, game. Shifting, I can't tell. Uh uh. Uh uh. What are you? Uh uh. I didn't like that. I guess that was a weird, like, psychic thing, but I totally thought that was a thing up here. <laughs> I'm out of the water. I'm totally safe. I'm gonna die to like these guys. That's gonna be my... Everything is shaking. I've seen bits of this, but it was like forever ago. And it's probably, again, it was like early access. So probably back before a lot of this was done. Are you kidding me? Huh? Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. My emotional Fire integrity is. Equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. I didn't bring a fire extinguisher. Why didn't I bring a fire extinguisher? fire extinguisher? That'd be really nice, game. Nope, it's a battery. I didn't bring a wire cutter. I didn't bring a fire extinguisher. I'm the worst at this. You will get one. Good. Ow! Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. These fuckers? Oh, bye! Bye! Fuck y'all. Oh, I've only got one more of these, but I feel like... Yeah, it didn't fill me up anyway, so that's good. Fine. Where am I going? Yeah. Ow. Oh, here we go. Juking. I'm dodge, dip, duck, diving, and dodge. There we go. 
Man, you really know this game. It's like you're a dev. Lots of batteries. This is not a bad. Systems are running on local reserve power, unable to remotely download black box data. In other words, go get it. Integrating new DDA data. Integrating new PDA data. Oh. oh. This is. I wanted this to be voiced and it's not. Dang it. <laughs> I'll read it later. Probably. Data. Yeah, here we go. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Senses recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> Drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering Ooh. hibernation mode. Oh, I killed myself. I wasn't paying attention to my health. Ugh. <sighs> it's always good. It, it's always a good. Priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Apparently, I'm not ready for parkour because I died. Um, probably dropped important stuff. I don't know. I dropped the uh, fire extinguisher for sure. Well, I guess I'll come back to this. And I'll take my, uh, my fire extinguisher with me, just, uh, just in case. And probably a wire cutter, the repair tool or whatever. Uh, but we'll do that next time, because it is a good time to to wrap things up. Meet the day. Well, I don't know. I don't know how to meet the day, and I don't want to. That's scary. That was all. That was already super scary. But I'll be streaming this again for sure. Like this is the second stream I've done of it, and I'm even more enthralled with it. Um, but I think at this point I'm definitely going to be streaming all of it. I played some of it today just by myself, thinking, oh, you know, it's, but there, there's so much happening that I'm like, go out the map. What? What map? Is there a map? So yeah, so that's one island. 
And that's the other. That's really funny that I never noticed those weird cloud formations there, but... That's good that I can still see them, so I can go back there, um... At some point. If I need to. Ugh. But, okay. Oh, just, like, swim out until they, like, attack me, is what you're saying? I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> I'll do that in another stream. I'm not, like, mentally prepared for that right now. <coughs> oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, but thank you so much for hanging out and chatting. It has really been great. Um, I can say that again. Uh, I'll play more of this, I'm sure. Tomorrow night is going to be farm, not farm together, uh, Stardew Valley, um, with friends, Stardew Valley multiplayer. Uh, and then Tuesday, I don't know what. At some point, the Sea of Thieves update's coming out. But thank you so much, uh, Evil Jester, uh, Evil Jester, Evil Jester Robot. I just, like, finally read out your name to myself. Um, it does mean a lot, you coming and hanging out and talking with me. It was, it made it a lot more interesting. Uh, and I will see you all next time, but I am gonna go ahead and see about raiding somebody. Who is, who is streaming what? Who is streaming what? I don't think anybody's playing this, because I'm super late to the party playing this game, but... I do have a friend playing, which, okay, like, I want, I want it to be true, I want you to actually be a dev, but I don't know how to, like, have you, how, how can you, like, I, I don't know how to, like, how you could prove that to me, where I'm not skeptical, because I'm, like, super skeptical, but I, like, ah! But thank you for hanging out. I do appreciate it nonetheless. Um, we're going to raid. If I can turn off caps lock. To wear TV. Because he is doing some drunk. See, but I don't know that you're Brian coming. <laughs> you could just be lying about that. I'm just, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna raid Dewar. We're gonna raid Dewar, and he's playing some drunk, slightly drunk Mario Kart. Feel free to come back and hang out. I'll I will Google Brian coming and see if that is makes sense. That it's you, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much again. I will see you all next time. Bye bye.